Mr. Crime, a member statement. I call the member for Northern Tablelands. Thank you, Mr. Temporary Speaker. As we know all too well in country New South Wales, the, the, the fortunes of our country communities, particularly our small country communities, tied to the availability of reliable and high quality potable water. And we've seen in my electorate of Northern Tablelands over the last few years a number of significant investments uh, to ensure uh, the ongoing water supply for a number of communities and bringing water supply via pipelines and new bores to communities that have never had a reticulated potable water supply. But this evening I wanted to talk about the plight uh, that besets the community of Gyra in my electorate. Uh, Lagaira is a community of around 2,000 people, a very proud community, uh, a rich agriculturally producing area uh, that's very proud of the lamb and the wool that it produces uh, to, to feed and clothe our country. It is a community that's 40 odd kilometres uh, north of Armidale and has over the last decade spawned a fledgling uh, and now uh, burgeoning uh, horticultural industry via the Costa Group in Gyra. Uh, the Custer's greenhouses, uh, 30 hectares of tomatoes uh, under glass, the largest tomato operation horticulturally under glass anywhere in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, it is a brilliant operation, as the member for Coffs Harvest says, who has also got uh, the Costa company with significant investments in his electorate. Uh, the chances are that if you buy a snap pack of uh, tomatoes in this state, in your local supermarket, it's probably come from Gyra and those glass houses from the Costa Group at Gyra. Now, the, those, uh, those glass houses have been tremendous for the community, employing uh, nearly 600 people in that community, uh, also ensuring that the community is growing. And for the first time in many years, the council's been in a position where it's actually approving housing subdivisions to actually expand that community. However, Mr Temporary Speaker, that has an impact on the water supply, on the finite water supply which Gyra has for decades been relying on. Just under 40 per cent of the 420 megalitres that community consumes through its town water supply each year goes to the tomato farm. And while the tomato farm is working very quickly on a water recycling program to become more self-sufficient, uh, nevertheless investigations are necessary and urgent to have a permanent solution to what could potentially become a water shortage problem for that community in the not too distant future. Indeed, it was only two years ago that for a whole 12 months the Gyra community was on severe water restrictions uh, as, its, uh, as its water supply dams uh, actually reached a critical low level. It's not just the quantum of water, it's actually the quality and with those country dams as the water levels drop so unfortunately does the water quality. So I've been, locals in that community have been asking me uh, for uh, months now for a permanent solution to this problem and I'm happy to provide to the house and to the residents of Gyra uh, some information from an invest some investigations that I requested that Armidale Regional Council undertake to come up with a permanent solution. They work with the Department of Primary Industries Water uh, to look at a number of options, from raising uh, the, dam wall, uh, the dam walls at the existing supply, uh, to uh, recycling uh, sewage, uh, the, the uh, used water from the community, from its, uh, from its sewage facility, to, to also constructing a permanent water pipeline uh, from the plentiful Malpas Dam south of Gyra, which supplies the water to the, to the city of Armidale, uh, a city of 23, 24,000 people, where Malpas Dam has the capacity to water a community in excess of 60,000. And after all of that analysis, the water pipeline, a 15 kilometre pipeline from Malpas Dam up the hill to Gyra, was assessed to be uh, the most beneficial in terms of providing a permanent water solution for that community giving the capacity for that community to grow in terms of population, but also continue to attract uh, extra horticultural operations, not just in tomatoes, uh, but in other fresh produce. And if we're going to do that, we need the water to do that. That, that, pro that plan has been costed at anywhere between eight and $10 million. And already I've had meetings with the Deputy Premier, uh, the Regional Water Minister, Niall Blair, to push the case for this proposal. 
and I will be uh, working very hard with the local community, with Armidale Regional Council, to continue to push that proposal, which is a permanent solution to those problems, that will unlock the potential that that community has to grow, to develop, to create extra jobs, to attract new industry through having a permanent, reliable, potable water supply. And I'll continue to fight for that on behalf of that community. I thank the uh, member for